Good morning, everybody. This is It's a Dill Cherry coming at you with a Resellers Challenge collaboration, and it is hosted by um, Thrift Queen. And so I, I did this video already, but I didn't do it right. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna redo it again. And uh, excuse me for the shirt, you guys. It's extremely wrinkled. Wrinkled. It's extremely wrinkled. Um, I got it on Shein. And when it came in, I was like, ooh. But I mean, I'm around the house, it's fine. I have my little workout pants that I bought for them that I bought too big. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I'm a hot mess today, but I'm not going past my front door so I can look a hot mess in the house. And look at my hair, it's looking a little frizzy today. I gotta wash it. Anyway, so with all that aside, <laughs> I'm gonna show you my items that I bought. Um, some of them yesterday. Some of them are things that I've already had, um, and some of them are things um, yeah, yesterday I just bought in stuff that I already had. So I'm gonna jump right into this. I need to clean this more, but um, first thing I have, number one, it's gonna be going on um, Poshmark. And this is just a coach uh, change, <coughs> excuse me, wallet. Excuse me, one second. And, it just needs cleaning a little bit, but it's really cute. I have a leather one like this that I got in Vegas at the outlets, and I love this. This is all I carry with <laughs> my cards and all that in it. But anyway, um, yeah, it's a really in good condition. I, I, bleh, really in good condition. I just need to figure out how to clean it up a little bit. So this will be going on Poshmark. Next thing, that's number one. Next thing that's going on Poshmark as well is these keen um i don't know if this is i don't know if it's wool or oh here we go uh made in made in india this uh, fabric made in india i don't know if it's wool it looks wool but i know keen is a very very good brand i've sold keens um i put I had a pair of Keens I posted, and I'm telling you, it sold within maybe 45 minutes. It was under an hour, and they sold that quick for what I was asking for. So when I saw these, they were $7.99. I don't, I shouldn't tell you the price, <laughs> but um, I, I know that I will be able to sell these because Keen are really, really good shoes, and they're just made really good quality. And so there they are. These are a size... Um, I can barely see it. Size eight. And so that's a good size too. So, oh, sorry. There they go. That's number two. Also, this type of thing sells for me really, really well. Every time I sell wooden decor or anything like this, it sells well for me. Um, I found these. Um, they are just kind of like wall art in their wooden carved fork and spoon with elephants at the tips. Isn't that cute? And so, um, yeah, so they are kind of stained a dark uh, color, but they are wood and they're carved. So those are gonna be number three. That's gonna be on Macari. And then this next one is, it's a, it's a size large uh, fossil belt. And I really like that style, but I, it says it's a large. I don't think this is a adult large. It just looks way too small for a, an adult. Um, so I'm gonna say it's, I'm probably gonna list it as a child. I'm gonna do a little bit more research, but this, um, excuse me, ooh, excuse me. This is gonna go on Poshmark as well, but um, I'm gonna do a little bit more re research to see if it's a kid's or adult. I'm pretty sure it's a kid's. It, it's gotta be a kid's. Um, I, I just, that waste is too, for a large, and this to be a waste, uh, mm -mm. yeah, that's got to be a kid's belt. So that's number four, or one, two, three, four, five, wait, four, I'm sorry, and this is going to go again on Poshmark. Uh, next thing that is going, this is going on Macari. Um, I always do my hard goods, and um, just like houseware, stuff like that on Macari. And so it's a set of vases. Um, it's It could be either, let me show you. It could either be a candlestick or you can take that little plastic thing off, sit it in there, and it can be for a tea light. 
And I thought these were really, really cute. I debated whether I wanted to keep these, but I ended up not keeping them. I'm gonna sell them. The set is going to go on Macari. Just a close up of that. It's really pretty. Very pretty. So that's those. Then, as we'll get from what's inside of here, this is a art class uh, ship. This is going on Macari as well. This type of thing does very well on my Macari. Um, so that will be going up. That's number six. And then also I have a fossil purse. It is real leather. And um, yeah, I cleaned it up. It's it's pretty clean and it's kind of like a camelish color, but it's leather. It's just a nice, um, I always call these Disneyland purses because <laughs> every time we go to Disneyland, I try to look for a purse like this because it's just easy access. When you get on the rides, you can kind of put them away and um, you could put just enough. Um, actually, I like these purses. What I did eventually start doing is wearing a backpack when I start, when I had my foster baby. We took her to Disneyland and um, I remember carrying, that's when I started carrying a backpack. You know, when it was just me, you know, it was fine. I, you know, would just go and, and um, you know, take a purse. But now with Zoe, when Foster Baby, then when Zoe came around, oh, you have to, because you got to carry diapers and snacks and extra clothes and jackets and all that stuff in there. So, but, I, you know, if you're not taking any kids with you, this is the Disneyland purse. Or like if you're going shopping or whatever. Actually, when I go um, thrifting, I carry one of these. So that is, I believe, number six. I have to count those, make sure. Um, since we're on the subject of purses, I found this yesterday. This, I thought it was so cute. This is all leather. And this just reminds me of the 70s. And um, I like how I, uh, you know, it, the clasp or whatever it's called is on the bottom here. And so that whole thing just comes down. These are really good to wear because then you can just carry it and then flip it on open, get what you gotta get and flip it down. It does have a front pocket. Um, this will, by the way, be going on Poshmark. And this is one of the items that I've already had. I decided that I am going to sell it because it's just too big. Um, and then I'm realizing there's a little chip on it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there is a little chip on it. It's just a little tiny chip. I gotta, I've used this. I gotta, um, clean it up, but I just grabbed it off the um, the countertop because I used to keep my butter out there, but I need to clean it up. And then it comes with the bottom like that. That's huge, but it's nice. And I think I could probably still sell that with that little tiny chip on that. I do everything. If there's any flaw in anything I sell, I disclose it. I take plenty of pictures. I never sell anything and say, oh, let me just sell this. Maybe they won't see it. No, I mean, when I get my stuff and I order from people, I check everything. So... Yeah, I make sure I disclose everything. I'm going to wash it and re-examine it, make sure, you know, there's no other chips or whatever. If there's another chip, then I probably won't. I'll probably end up just donating it. But that one little chip, it's in a spot where it's not near the butter. Um, it's on the outside of the inside um, closure. So it won't be near the food. But like I said, I'm going to double check that. Um... So we're not gonna count that for now. So I don't know what I'm up to, but I'm just gonna empty this bag. I think I had already counted it. It might be a little bit more than 20. But the next thing I have, I found this leather jump rope with the wooden handles on it. And I found that at the Goodwill. Um, the original price was still on there. So I'm going to, um, I was, this is when I was gonna decide to go on eBay, but I decided I'm gonna put that off on hold. This will be going up on Macari. And these, <laughs> another set of, um, I, I was gonna keep these and then I just decided I'm gonna sell them. I'm trying to get rid of, not everything, but I'm trying to get rid of a lot of stuff out of my house. So these are really, really cute boxes. I was thinking these would be nice to put incense in. I don't know what they had in these, but whatever was in here had a very strong smell. I'm thinking like tobacco or something like tobacco or something. There's no residue in there or anything. So I, I don't know. I wish I could let you guys smell it, but these are beautiful. They're wood. I'm not sure what type of wood it's made out of, but it's dark. Um, there are little flaws, like it was covered. I don't know. I, I don't know what this is. See how that darkness is right there? I, I don't know what it is, but it looks like, it looks to be like Indian. 
or I don't know, some type of Asian, uh, I don't know, I, I, I want to be politically correct, so I don't want to be all over the place with the name of what I think this is, but this also has a smell in it, and this one's a little shallower, more like a, you know, but anyway, I just like these, they have little bills on the top, these are really nice, like I thought, I have this, um, uh, Bohemian, it's called Round Bohemian, and um, it's a nice coffee table book that I bought. And I just imagined this sitting on top of that Bohemian book, and I just thought that would look really nice as decor on the coffee table with the coffee table book and these on top. But I decided, no, I'm gonna go ahead and sell them. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little bit more research about where they're from, um, what nationality makes these. I, I need to do a little bit more research, but these are going to go up on Macari. And then I have some men's, uh, men's Lifeline Cycling Gloves, Comfort and Protection by Novara. And they are just brand new pair of men's um, cycling gloves. And they're in a size medium. And so just another item I was gonna put on eBay, but I just said, let me just put it on Macari and see what happens. Um, they are made of real suede um, on portions of it. Let me show you, there's that side. But yeah, these are gonna be nice to sell. And this item, it was on uh, Macari and I took it off because I had a lady inquire about it to ask if it was silver and my sister told me where to check. I couldn't find it for the longest time and then I took a picture and I enhanced the picture because I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max and I was they have a feature on there where you can zoom in, you know. And so I went ahead and did that and I found that it was sterling silver. And so I need to shine this back up. I did shine it once, it was so pretty, nice and shiny, but as you can see, it tarnishes very easy but it shines right back up to, I mean, like a beautiful silver. And so, yeah, because I, I, the lady was asking me, and I said, I better take that off so I can research it more. So I did, now I'm gonna put it back on there and I can rightfully say it's silver. And so that's gonna go back up on Macari. And then, this is just random. I thought it was cute. It's made out of, I think, resin. Um, at first I thought it was made out of like a, um, what do you call it, like iron, but it feels more like resin. And when you look at the bottom, it kind of looks more like resin, but it's just a sea creature, a little crab. I just thought that was really cute. There's somebody out there probably sell, uh, collecting crabs or whatever, I don't know. So uh, yeah, that's gonna go up on Macari. And then I found this, um, I guess uh, when we first came out of, came out of uh, lockdown, I went to the store and I found this brand new uh, drinking decanter or whatever you want, uh, not decanter, drinking glass or whatever. And it's, um, what do you call it? Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And my sister's the biggest fan of Nightmare Before Christmas, but I am going to sell this. These things comped for so high. I wanna say it was like 40 something dollars for these, uh, for a brand new one exactly like this sold for 45. When I post things on Macari and Poshmark, I always make sure I check to see the comps on what sold, not what people think they're going to sell for. Um, I would rather look at what people are actually buying and then I will go lower than what they're buying. I mean, it's no, it's no point in putting somebody selling something on Macari um, or wherever and um, you go on there and you see it for one price and then you're gonna, put that same thing in, you know, uh, post that same thing for a higher price. Obviously the person is gonna go for the lesser price. So <laughs> I say that to say when you are um, putting your things on Macari, eBay, wherever, look at your comps first, look at what's sold and then look at what is on there currently. And if you see something on there for $10 and you wanna put yours on there for 15, if you have a new item, yeah, you could do that. Or you could possibly go, you know, you could make that decision to go up higher. But if it's a used item, the same as something else that's used on there, and, um, you know, you see that it's for $10, don't go take the same thing that's used and put it, post it for 20 You could do it. I mean, I'm not saying don't do it. You do what you're going to do. 
but um, chances are people are going to go for the cheaper item. So anyway, I'm going to be posting that on Mercari. Uh-oh. And then the next thing I have is a, a leather belt. And this just screams the 70s for me. <laughs> I love this. Really cute. This is by uh, Loft. And it is a large. See, now look at this large. This is a grown person large, okay? <laughs> so, and look how far it's, you know, it's got all that room. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to be posting this on Poshmark. And this is genuine leather. It's really nice, really in good condition. And here's the back of that. So you can see it's loft large, made in India, 100% genuine leather. And it's got the... Uh, code on there. I can't remember what the code is called. But anyway, so that's that. That's going to be going on Poshmark. Then you guys, Big Ben. This got me through college and high school and college. <laughs> Big Ben, I love these clocks, you guys. These are so nice. Um, I'm going to be posting this on Mercari. Um, comps aren't all that great, but I, I grabbed it because I liked it. It just reminded me of high school and college. <laughs> so I'm going to sell that. Then um, I found this, as I told you guys before, you know, I don't, I'm really not into Buddhas and all this stuff like that, little um, statues and stuff like that. I just, I don't believe in having them in my house. Um, I used to, but I took them all out. Um, but I did find this and I thought it's brass and brass is pretty popular right now and bohemian and all this type of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that. I grabbed that, going to be selling that on Macari. And then I found this little guy. It is made out of, I can't remember the name of this rock. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't remember the name of the rock, but it is a dolphin. And so, yes, I will be posting that on Macari. <laughs> and then I found this little jade, I believe it is jade, um, sea turtle. And so that's cute as well. I'm going to be posting that on Macari. What time is it? 17. Okay, 17 minutes. I keep forgetting the name of this stone that's in here, but it's just a round wooden box. I do well with round wooden boxes. For some reason, people like them, and those other round wooden boxes, I'm pretty sure those things are going to go very fast. But anyway, it is just a box, and it has a little suede liner inside of it. And I can tell it's pretty old because of the velvet on the bottom. And so, but it's, I can't remember the name of the stone. This is an actual stone. And then they painted the flowers over it. It was a lot of different ones that they had in there. The comps, I don't remember what the comps, it's been a while. Um, but you know, it's got its little flaws there, but sometimes that type of thing gives it character because it, um, it like that vintage character. I believe it is old, um, but yeah, that's gonna be going up on Mercari. And two more things, you guys, and then I'm gonna count all this stuff, make sure it's 20 items. Um, I'm sure it is, though. I've had this for years. I got this at Ross for a long time. This is also made of resin, and it's just a um, just something you toss your jewelry in. You put it on your dresser, and you toss your jewelry on. I've used it. I was going to take it to work, but then I was just like, eh, nah. Just too it's too much stuff on my desk already as well. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it on Macari. Also, what I'll do is I'll post it on Macari and see how it does. If it doesn't sell within... I don't know, maybe a couple of months or whatever, and then I'll just end up taking it to work. But yeah, it's just a little tray thingy that you put your jewelry in. It's very pretty. It's just that style is not really the style of, that I'm trying to <laughs> uh, envision in my house right now. Um, and then the last thing I have, you guys, were these, um, I call them camping salt and pepper shakers. I just thought these were really cute. It's a salt and pepper shaker. Um, you know, one is a the truck and this is the camper. Like you guys can't see that. And I believe these are from Walmart. These, I think these are a Walmart. Um, yeah, I think these are a Walmart item. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna be selling those on Macari. These are good for like camping trips or picnics or whatever. I just think that's so cute, you guys. I thought that was really neat. So that was it, you guys. So let me count. Real quick, I'm going to count my items and make sure that I have 20 so I can follow the rules. 
And by the way, I posted on Facebook on um, Dare to Be Creative. Um, I think that's what it's called. Um, I had posted I sold an item. I'm taking that off the list because we're supposed to start fresh and we're supposed to start um, post those items and keep track of those items and then we're supposed to sell those. Now this, I had sold something that I had just posted but it wasn't part of the collaboration. So I'm starting fresh. These are fresh new 20 items. So let's see, I'm gonna count them real quick, you guys. Oh shoot. All right, that's one, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I believe there might be twenty-one, but uh, twenty is all I need to see. <laughs> so I have twenty items, you guys, for this challenge. Um, most of the stuff is going on Mercari, as you can see. I did go through each and every item and say where I was going to post these. So, um, oh crap, <laughs> I said I was gonna go. Uh, on my Poshmark is nine, my Poshmark, I I'm gonna post it below, that's what I'm gonna do. It's nine, I think it's S Cherry 925 and the other one's S Cherry uh, Berry or something like that. But I, I will be posting that below so you um, you guys can see what my Mercari is in my um in my Poshmark and I think that's all I think that's it I hope I covered everything Joan <laughs> I just wanted to do it right so anyway yeah so that's it you guys thank you for joining me and good luck to all of you guys and I hope you guys have fun with this I think that's the most important thing we have to remember is this is all for fun and to teach each other and to you know just to be able to be there and support each other on like Joan said you know we're in times where especially out here in California man Whew, it's hard living out here, you know, because the cost of living is crazy out here. So, you know, we, our ends ain't meeting, okay? So we need to make our ends meet. And so this is just a way for me to get that money in the bank, and get the coins in there, and um, just to have that little comfort, just to have that money in the bank. And some of us may not have that, that uh, problem, but you know what? If not, do it for fun. Do it as an outlet. Do it to, you know, just for something to do. I enjoy it. I enjoy going into the stores and looking for something, you know, looking for things. It's like a treasure hunt, you know, be, the, the, the sky's the limit. You don't know what you're going to find in there. Um, I'm always surprised, just like with the candles that I'm finding. I ordered all these Bath and Body Work candles and all of a sudden, every time I go, I'm finding brand new candles that have never been burned, you know, from Bath and Body Works. And so what I am looking for is Diptyque. If you guys ever find candles from Diptyque, it's called, and this usually has like a round uh, sticker. They're black with round stickers on it. I think they're white too. And then it'll have like a name. It'll be kind of in a circle. You, you uh, what do you, I'm all scrambled up. Google it and check out Diptyque and Diptyque candles and you will see what the labeling looks like. If you ever see anything like that, you guys grab that. That is a money maker right there. Those candles are so, so expensive. Like a small candle is like maybe $300, $200. So, and they're very good resellers. So keep an eye out for those. But anyway, you guys, I'm gonna let you go have fun and good luck to you guys and just enjoy it. If anything, just enjoy yourself and, you know, make it something positive, you know, don't get frustrated or anything. That's why we are all here. We get on Thrift Queen's channel, you know, and we can talk to each other and uh, motivate each other just to keep on going, okay? So you guys have a wonderful day. Happy Sunday. God bless and take care.